What's up, everybody? My name is Haji, and this is Kevin, and welcome to another episode of Brown and Hungry. And today's video is a super special video because we have no idea what we're eating today. We've been on a mission visiting different Filipino eateries, trying to explore our Filipino culture. We just felt a little out of touch with our Filipino roots, so we took it upon ourselves to delve into uh, the culture by visiting different Filipino eateries and looking into the, the dishes. Yeah. Unboxing. The great unboxing. <laughs> Not even piercing the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. How many Filipino does it take to open a box? <laughs> Before we open up this box, let's try to guess what's in here. Hmm. I think it's Filipino desserts because right. Yeah, I don't. Well, think we it's know it's like, Filipino food. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's not balot because balot would have gone bad by now. And if you yeah. don't know what balot is, it's basically a. Uh, Filipino delicacy in which... <laughs> a good way to explain it. <laughs> right, yeah, right, right. In which you take an unborn chicken egg. And I don't know how they prepare it, but for some reason, you can eat it, and it tastes decent. Okay. This paper. <laughs> oh, what is this? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> what is this? Richie. Crunchy this? snack, milk flavored. Milk flavored. Oh, milk. Okay. And then there's Regent snack. What else we got? Snacku. What's a paper? Rice crackers, vegetable flavored. Okay. okay. Sky flakes. Ho! Oh, if you do not oh, have sky flakes is, yeah. in your house. Yeah. And you're Filipino. And you're Filipino. <laughs> I don't know if you're Filipino. <laughs> yeah. And then Sugo. I don't know what this Sugo. is. Sugo. Garlic adobo. Oh, adobo. Garlic adobo oh, I've peanuts. had that before. I've had this, but. Yeah. Maybe not like from this brand. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. from Swap Meat. Oh, Swap Meat. Yeah. 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 Swap Meat is this awesome thing here in Hawaii where it, it takes place at the Aloha Stadium, and you basically go to exchange and look at different like vendors. They yeah. sell different uh, stuff like this, snacks, goodies, um, local. What is it? Local items, I yeah. guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to try this. The Palens Pacencia. Pacencia. Or maybe you want to open it yeah. since it's yeah. Oh, someone's excited over there. <laughs> what? Well, it's really dry. Oh, not bad. I don't really. Well, mm -hmm. okay. So, you know, just looking at all these different <clears throat> snacks, especially in a packaging like this. So, I was born in the Philippines, um, up north in the local snort there. It's a very province area. And there wasn't a lot of like department stores or grocery stores where I lived. And what we had was these like makeshift mom and dad uh, stores that were literally on the side of the road or operated out of someone's house. And I remember seeing snacks like this kind of just um, hung up on racks on the walls of uh, like what, what they would do is they would build a like a shack almost like mm. a, a, a small storefront, mm. right? And they would literally just sell snacks out of the storefront and like all the kids would come out. And you know, actually one of the <laughs> one of the really unique things that I remember as a kid was that if I wanted soda, they wouldn't put it in a can or they wouldn't like, you know, open up a can of soda and give it to you. Instead well, they have the, the bag, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they would put it in a in a plastic bag. Yeah. And then they put the straw. Mm -hmm. Handy scissors. Oh, it smells amazing. Wow. Sniff test. Okay. Some... Oh, it's like... Hmm. That tastes like poke. Really? Yeah. That tastes like spicy ahi poke. Mm. Let's do this. for last. I don't know what this is. Milk, but... milk flavored crunchy snack. I can taste a little milk. Maybe you need like a lot to get like the, the true experience. <laughs> it smells like sweet milk. You know what? This is really good for a milk flavored crunchy snack. Um, You know what's one of the weird things about like <clears throat> snacks in the Philippines? I remember 
like just like this being milk flavored, there would be like really random flavored chips. Like for example, this one or not this vegetable. This is a uh, garlic adobo peanuts, right? And I would see like chicken adobo flavored chips, which to me sounded amazing because I love chicken adobo. <laughs> chicken adobo is a food staple. Um, or adobo how, in general. Adobo in general. <laughs> um, how how do you how would you explain adobo? It's like it's just like stir fried meat. Mm. That's what stir fried I, meat. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Jeff laughing. I was like, no, it's not. It's more than that. I don't know. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be, um, or how would you describe yourself as a Filipino, knowing that you you've you've been raised up in Hawaii? Or knowing what you know. Describe myself. Mm -hmm. I think I'm like. I was raised very, um, very locally. I guess like not so much with, with my culture, with my Filipino culture. I mean, yes, we did like do it and stuff, but yeah, I was like really <laughs> raised with, with um, trying to be. Um, just be American, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Be yeah. Right. I wasn't really raised to be like, okay, you gotta learn the Filipino language. Mm. You have to learn all these different things. Yeah. Yes, they. Uh, my parents and my grandparents do speak it at home, and I do understand it. Uh, oh, I understand most of it, but not all of it. Mm -hmm. But I can't speak it myself. Mm -hmm. so. Similar to you, um, how I can understand most of the language, the Lakano language, but I can't speak it. I can't hold a conversation. And I remember as a kid, um, I, I was more, my, my parents were uh, very passionate about me learning English because that meant that I could, uh, I would have more opportunities for myself, right? Um, and back home, um, my parents didn't push me to like, okay, now you gotta review like your Ilocano or whatever, right? Like that, it just, it just disappeared because I, I, I don't know, for some reason, like it wasn't something that we uh, went over, but my folks and my family, they, they would still speak it. And so I guess that's why I was still able to retain some of the knowledge of understanding what they're talking about. But however, I was, un I was un unable to speak it. And I realized that when I was in high school, um, there was my version of a Filipino or like a localized Filipino. And then there's another group of Filipinos, which the stereotype for that is uh, they're called fobs. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with that. Um, but you know, to me, they weren't fobs. To me, they were just uh, a group a group of Filipinos who were more cultured. Uh, cultured yeah. Right. They they were more in touch with their culture, and mm -hmm. they could they they they, they uh, retained the language. They could speak it. They could understand it. And to me, I was actually very jealous of that. This is about it for the end of the video. Yeah. Uh, just final thoughts. Just thinking about what we've eaten today. So we've had uh, various snacks. We've had uh, a noodle version, a cup noodle version, um, and just just thinking about what we've eaten. I think it's 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 funny how here in Hawaii, I never really went into a lot of Filipino stores to get these snacks. I mean, a couple times I have gone with my parents uh, whenever we chop for ingredients to prepare for parties, but whenever it come to the the snack section, um, I never found myself like grabbing a bunch of snacks that I want to munch on, right? And what it, what the default was is actually going to um, a name brand store and getting stuff like. Um, like Lay's potato chips, yeah, like Ruffles, normal. Cheetos, yeah. Doritos, um, all the American snacks, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Chips Ahoy, Oreos, those kinds of things, right? And it's so funny because eating these these foods, I gotta say, like, I, I definitely want to like get, more of, them, yeah, yeah, like get more of them, yeah, go back and because this, yeah. these these yeah. foods are definitely part of our Filipino culture, mm -hmm. you know. And, and they're good; they taste good. They taste really yeah. good, especially this. This is <laughs> this is my favorite right here. And One more instant. No more cup noodles. <laughs> no more well, cup noodles. I gotta say no more cup noodles because you know I, I don't know where to get these, but <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. but I I will have to say that like uh, just this experience alone has um, opened up uh, a, a bigger perspective on our, our, our Filipino roots, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy that we got to do this. So yeah, same. Thank you for watching our video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.